in this video tutorial we will see that how can we add different point data that is shape file to any specific region or boundaries so for example uh, we have a brazil admin admin uh, data like this one and we have different provinces and boundaries uh, for this purpose uh, we need uh, in this particular task we are going to add uh, different point data uh, and that point data will show us the banks location for example we are seeing here that the, there are different banks so uh, instead of banks we can uh, add uh, other data uh, so for, for other purposes like wells like poles like uh, any hotel its uh, location etc but uh, for this uh, task we are just to see that how can we add the point data uh, to uh, this particular area that is brazil so in this tutorial uh, we will learn that how we can add new uh, point data that is shape data uh, shape file data so coming towards new and clicking the shape file and the shape file I will give the name that is I am creating banks so I will click here uh, uh, banks and uh, banks location as the data is in the point format so I will keep the data as point and you can uh, uh, give the location uh, the geographical coordinate system or uh, the projected coordinate system depending upon the first uh, data which we have added so I am uh, assigning WGS 1984 coordinate system here the shape file is created but there is no points in the uh, data so clicking the editor button and clicking the uh, banks location after clicking editing uh, opening the edit editor uh, we will see there that uh, create features after clicking the uh, create features here the points will sh be shown uh, for example we have district uh, different uh, provinces and these different provinces i am just adding the points for example uh, in the center of the uh, provinces and these points showing me different banks so this is the way which you can easily uh, add the points and these points are known as the vector data uh, as i have told you in the previous tutorials that there are three types of uh, vector data that is uh, point data uh, line data and polygon uh, now we have created different uh, types of uh, uh, point location uh, for banks purpose opening the attribute table here you can see that the points have been generated adding the field in the field button I will uh, in the field column I will uh, name uh, this field like uh, banks in this uh, uh, for this time however uh, you can give the other name for your particular task for example for wells you may name as well uh, or uh, you may name other thing now I will click the text because I am just giving the names that is so here I will add the names you must keep the editing on and for this uh, uh, shape file the point uh, points so for example I am giving the name bank 1 uh, for this the second point that is bank 2 for the third point that is bank three and doing for all of these different points same procedure following this proce procedure uh, we can do for all these points so these points are showing us the location of banks
now you can see that I have added different uh, banks location I'm giving this one as 17 and here clicking the edits have been stopped I have left some of the locations points empty now after selecting the points in the attribute table you can see that these points have been displayed on the map also for example I don't need these uh, points uh, so I will click right and click the delete so all the points have been deleted again in the redo button I carry these uh, again clicking the delete button you can do individually deleting and you can do uh, by selecting all the features and clicking the delete button Thank you.